All right, so today, guys, we have the B Link. This is the GTI 10 mini PC, a real powerful mini PC, runs on Windows 10, iCore, and i3, 105G1 the model, Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and runs on speed of 1.2 gigahertz up to turbo mode 3.4 gigahertz and a 4 megabyte uh, smart cache memory wise 16 gigabytes hard drive space 512 plus you can add some more and i'm going to show you those things we're going to put it up and I'll show this great mini pc right now How about doing everyone? Uh, my name is Dario from MediaBoxCNT.com. All right, what a great mini PC. How many things we can do this? Well, one of the things, because this is nice and powerful. Sure, if you run out of space, think of a space in your desk, well, you just pop this mini PC right in your display, right in the back, and problem solved. Another thing you can use is, you can run this as a mini server. I would love to run a Plex server, perfect for a mini Plex server, or a Play On, or a Cordy player or oh, just put this and write your main TV and now you have a super powerful I don't know 55 60 70 inch screen running Windows 10 it's many many things you can run out of this box and it's nice because it allows you to upgrade even I think you can even change your memory if you want this is a real nice powerful mini PC I love it and I'm going to show you all those things uh, right now, guys. All right, so let's take a look. The B Link comes with a real nice box. I can see that the CPU model, the 105G1, 16 gigabytes, 512. Even the market here, I guess it got the version 32. Can I show you? I think we can upgrade here. Like I can say Intel Core processor, multi language, Wi Fi 6, and the dimensions here is uh, 160 millimeters, 120, 39, 100 volt, 240. And the power is 19 volts, runs a 3 amp, 57 watts. Pretty simple. We open this this way. Here we have instructions. How to use it. But it's pretty simple, guys. How to mount it in the back of the TV. Comes with all the brackets and everything. And it comes with a different language as well, too. Get that on the side. Here, how to install. And I'll show you guys. How to install an extra hard drive. We're going to do that. I'll show you how that the whole thing works. All right. Show you right over there. And here we have the box. We keep this here. And let's put this way. And also simple to like again. Show you why. Just put your finger here and you just like it. So we got the box right there. What else we get here? So here we get power supply. Yes, we need that. 19 volts. HDMI cable. And a small uh, HDMI cable. Okay, that's if you want to just go from the back to in the back of the display. Here you're going to use this just to mount it right in, right in the back of your regular display. Now this is an extra cable. I'll show you that. That's for hard drive. An old mount hard drive and it'll mount in the back of the TV. So it has all this kind of nice organized everything here. So this is all the parts that we have right now. We don't need none of these things right now. We're going to keep this into the side. But yes, I do need my power supply to work. All right. We're going to keep this in the side. Let's plug it in there. So I call it three ten generation. Real nice box, as you see here. I still have that little plastic protection, but it's not this perfect. Whole thing is aluminum. Real nice that biometrics. Put your finger here or put this finger here, and that's it. When you set up your window, you can activate the biometrics so you don't need to put any uh, special code to anything. Now, run the front power, right? You press that, it has a nice white color. Yep, let you know if it is going to do a cleaner on the CMOS. Two microphones, right over here, a stereo, USB type 3, headphones or microphone, and type C, USB. Run the back. I like this. So this will not slip anywhere. We'll look the other side. A lot of inputs and output. Cooling. Two LAN connections. DC. Three type of outputs. We have display port, HDMI, and even here of power. 
or here I, I guess I can display also to the display port. This is the display part. Two USB type 3 and type 2. So it's perfect. Nice design on the side. Because this will be, I guess, for cooling as well too. All right. Oh, here I tell you to remove that, that cover there. And here. But you know, what I'm going to do first, we're going to do, we're going to do this thing backwards. Before we put it up, I'm going to show you a few things here. So we get the box this way. And we're going to remove the screws. Okay, so after you lose all the screws, should we lose? We take the covers. You guys can see inside, and I want to show you why I'm doing this right now. Now we see the we see the interior of the unit, right? And right over here, you see this cable, the headphone extra here. That is for your hard drive. So let's say now you want to put another terabyte. You want to put another four terabyte. Get another uh, good SSD drive, solid state drive, right over here, and it's perfect but what do we need now we need some add-ons that i have it oh it's already there here oh, i lost that add-on so that was something i didn't show in the beginning but this add-on comes with the box too so that that's part of the box okay that was part of the beginning so you're gonna add this here now if you want to go this this route you're gonna have to pop this out and connect this here and now use the screws right and then you're going to be able to put that hard drive right there. But you say, okay, how am I going to fit the screws there? Well, what we're going to do, and I want to show you something else in the same time too. We're going to remove these screws here. All right. Make sure you guys use some magnetic screws so you don't lose the screws. So we're going to remove this because you're going to have to remove that to be able to uh, screw the hard drive into the sides. Okay. Be careful when you remove it. It's going to stick a little bit because it has also to dissipate the heat. So we're going to be careful with this because this is still plug in here. So now you can keep it this way. And now you can mount the hard drive here, right? But I want to show you a few things here. Now, you see here, we have another memory press. So we can add another one here. So if you have one, I think I have one over here. Right, so they said I want to put another terabyte. I think that maybe this is the way if you guys want to go this route. Go this way. Go like this. Should I have to lose this screw and put this up? And you see here, that's for the heat. You see the run the side? All right. That's perfect. Now, you see here, that's a memory. You want to load up, you want to do 32 gigabytes? Well, take these two out. By 16, this is a 8, 8 gigabyte module. Take this two down and get to, six, get to uh, 216. And then you got 32. So that's done. All right, we don't need to play with this. Because I'm going to leave it as default. I don't need to add an, an extra hard drive or anything. So we're going to put all the screws back. All right, so we put all the screws back. All right. That's it. And we're going to close this up. Let's imagine we hit the hard drive. We're going to close this up again. All right. So nice and close now. So it's time to put it up. Put it up real fast, guys. It's faster than my computer. It's funny. All right. It's all plug in. I just put a wireless keyboard and mouse. Another good setup for this. The only thing required is upwards TMI. All right. And if we're going to connect uh, the, this wireless, or we can just connect the DJ45. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Nice and connected. So let's change the screens. And let's see how fast this thing will boot up. I'm going to press power and power's on. All right. So now we can see pop pops real everything. You can see even ooh, even it's an update ready there. All right. So let's go here and let's go to my computer and let's check some of the configurations here. My PC properties. And we can see here. Eh, Intel Core i3. The model SP is running right now. I show you the bias too. It's nice. Yes, it runs by you can go. Memory use right well have uh, my 
high drive yes i can say 512 here they detect the wi-fi display settings so resolution 1920 by 1080 that's perfect that's the resolution recommended for the type of graphics card it detected you can use a multiple displays it has a display port so you can connect the display port as well too and then you have a multiple display so obviously it's super fast now if we look and right on the front see nice power button you can press here and automatically goes in a standby mode and this will blink so that's a standby mode press it back again and you get windows pop up real fast again i'll show you that here a standby mode turn it on again should pop up in a second and it's up again now well, also we can configure right i didn't configure that we can just put your finger here and automatically will again that's simple as that right so it's nice that way and allow you to upgrade that's what i like about this mini pc see it's like a super computer super small so now i can add more memory if i want it i can put more hard drive if i want it and if i want double display or i guess you can display through the c port too you have a triple display or you always can buy you can buy a hub too those hub through the c port and you can have more displays to that so let me show you the bios allow me to put up from different drives as you see here through the drive or even i can put up even using the internet connection all right so let's enter into the setup okay so we hit everything the speed is running right now memory speed and you can change almost like any other advanced settings so there's a lot of things we can change here even uh we can change the cpu configuration how you enable i guess it can maybe do a little overclocking here a chip right graphics ios and and all kind of configurations right boot up how you want to boot up the machine all right fast boot up slow boot up save there and even even the hard drive advanced here so so nice is a, a way to config a lot of some some other boxes, boxes have like the bias it's a too simple bias so if you want to make changes there is not much you can do but this one it's nice because they allow me to do a lot of a lot of changes it takes one of the drives so if you're more hard drive should detect it here you can either do a work online enable here power it on so again if you use as a server or as a plex right that will be perfect and that's uh that's a bias right so let's quick and yes uh i didn't make any changes so should we do all fine that's it i think it's a nice powerful uh, mini pc real real simple uh, simple to use doesn't require much i love it because you can change the memory you can go and a more hard drive space so you can hit another two drive you can hit the regular 2.5 drive and you have the memory space type you can just put one of those and that will be even maybe that's the easy way there is at least you have to go and take uh and it has uh, some screws it still has to take the cover and then the second cover it with it up but that's it and then um at the finger well you need to configure that through window that's pretty simple then when you just put your finger there but it matter like games don't require any password or anything else how you get one of these guys like always i'll leave you the link right below this video bye